Today we're on Navarre Beach and we're trying to catch something to bring home for dinner. Oh yeah, you, you got him. Start cranking, start cranking. Could be a big, per like a 10 pound permit. I'm gonna get to catch a fish today, watch this. Oh yeah. Good morning, folks. Welcome to another video. It is early morning right here on Navarre Beach. We're headed out to see what's happening in the surf. Now, for those of you that have been following along for the last couple months, you know that we are right in the middle of the Beach Bum Outdoors Surf Fishing Classic. And so today I'm actually fishing with a special group of people and these guys are part of the reason we're even having this tournament and it's one of our sponsors i'm going to introduce him to you here shortly this tournament wouldn't be possible without our sponsors and so uh, we're going to hopefully get these guys on some fish today but it looks pretty out here check this out it looks beautiful out here this morning this is where we are going to start now the beach looks real interesting this morning got some chop Got a little deep water in close, got a sandbar right there. Probably gonna have to get over the sandbar to catch some good fish. Let's bait up and get started. First bait going out right here. I made up a little single drop rig, okay, on my small rod. I can throw this a long way. I'm having to wade a pretty good ways out on the sandbar, and I've gotta get my baits over the sandbar, and it's pretty rough. It's actually, at the moment, difficult to tell where the sandbar ends. So, whoo! All right. Ooh, that was, that's cold. <laughs> Nothing like taking a wave early in the morning. All right, let's go. I think we did it. I think we did it. Unfortunately, we're gonna have to wait. I'm gonna have to wait out for every uh, um, fish, but that's okay. You have two rods out right now. We got the bummy stick way out, and we got a short rod. And we did just have our first bite, and Mike caught a whopper. First fish of the day. Coming in here, Mike's got him. I'm guessing catfish. Oh my gosh, I was right. I was right. Dude. This is Mike, EOS, one of our big sponsors for the tournament. I'm gonna link all his information down below. Oh, oh, we're getting a bite right there. Go grab it, go, he's on, he's on. Just start cranking, I think he's on. Something small, I think. Oh, that's a, oh, that's a whiting. Yeah, there we go. No, it's not a whiting, it's a little pompano, look. Yep, I thought that was a whiting. Check this out. Our close rod is a little pompano. <laughs> hey, that is a step up from your first catch, though. It is absolutely a whole lot better. <laughs> hey, that gives us some hope that there's some good fish out there. So, all right, let's keep getting baits out. I'm going to stop the fishing real quick. I will get back to fishing. We caught some amazing fish today. But I just want to tell you this really cool story. The guy fishing with me today, his name is Mike. He is a business coach along the Florida Panhandle and even into Alabama, I believe. When he saw that we were putting on this surf fishing tournament, he reached out to us and was like, hey, I would love to get involved. It ended up working out so well. He got involved and he is one of the reasons that we were able to offer such big prizes in our surf fishing classic. So if you have any needs for anything in your business, he's your guy. I'm going to link all his information below. One thing I like to do on these short rods is peel the shrimp the fish seem to bite them better yeah. we'll get get it back out here the short rod always gets hit in the morning all right there we go there so we're good oh yeah you, you got him start cranking start cranking might be a cat, kitty cat <laughs> I, I'm pretty sure that that's another catfish just by the way, by the way it hit, unfortunately. Oh, dude, it's a shark. Okay. All right. Moving up in the world. 
Check this out, y'all. That is a little shark. <laughs> it looks like a little Atlantic sharp-nosed. What's cool, though, is he's hooked right in the corner of the mouth. So we can just pop that hook out just like that. We're getting quite a few bites, but it's all been smaller stuff right now. Little, we got catfish, shark, little pompano, and whiting. So that's four species so far. Looks like we're getting a bite right there. Mike, let's see, hold on. Yeah, start cranking, I think he's on there. Yep, all right. I don't know if he's hooked. <laughs> okay, cool. What is it? Oh, nice pompano. Hold on. Nice permit or pompano. Oh, yeah. That's a good one. Dude. That is a stud. That is a nice one right there. Heck yeah. So I wasn't getting too excited because I literally, I thought you had a catfish. Yeah. And he reels this big pompano up right here. That is awesome. Let's get you a photo. Let's get this rod back out. That is, uh, that's an awesome, awesome catch right there. What was cool about that is we've been getting a bunch of catfish bites. And so I didn't think much of it. And it hit like a catfish too. And so I'm like, well, I didn't really get excited. I had a feeling that I was gonna have to wait out today and get it way over the bar to be successful. And that's what I'm doing. Oh, all right. I do recommend if you are beach fishing, and it's low tide to so utilize these sandbars and wait out. Look at what a beautiful day it is out here on Navarre Beach. I'm blown away at how many sand fleas are here. They are everywhere. Ugh, come here. Yup. God, they're, they're thick. And they're big old sand fleas too. I mean, nice ones. Hey, Mike, that one's getting hit right there. Good one. Start cranking. Start cranking. I think he's on there. I think you got another nice fish. Yeah, that's another real nice fish. This might be a permit, dude. This is on that big sand flea. I'm excited about this one. I think this is a real nice fish. Come on, Mike. Get him. Oh, he's fighting. Yeah, all right. Come on. He's right in. Oh, there he is. Nice fish, I think. Where are we at? All right, there he is. Oh, it's another nice pompano. Another nice pompano. Get him. Oh, yeah. Pretty one. Heck yeah. That's a good one. Nice fish, Mike. Super you, cool. Dad, do you like to eat them? I love them. You do? All yeah. right, sweet. We'll tear this up. Yeah. Get another live sand flea on here. Get back after it. I'm going to give you guys a little bit of a tip here while I'm waiting out. All right, there's a lot of fishermen on the beach right now near us. Nobody's catching anything, and it's because they are not waiting out and making these long casts. Today, the way the beach is set up, if you don't get it over the top of the bar, you're not going to be successful. A lot of times, you can catch them really close to the beach, but today, the way the beach is, you got to have to wait out. All right, sand flea deployed. I got to get some more fleas. They're not touching the shrimp. Uh, I got one, but he's a little small. I want a bigger one, man. They're eating those bigger sand fleas. 
may have got but got him that time let's see finally got a good one here oh that one's already getting hit again mike he's already getting hit again i think he's on there grabby yeah start cranking yeah there we go i don't think he's as big oh did he just come off or is he running in okay oh maybe he is That bait was out there for 30 seconds. <laughs> that is super cool. Hopefully it's a decent fish, we'll see. Yeah, what, what was it? All right, let's go see. I see him coming in. That actually might be another pop. Oh yeah, it is. No way. Nice one. Nice one. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. <laughs> Wearing them out. So we're three, three. three man three nice pumps all keeper size all on the sand flea nice job all right cool. that is awesome i think we got to get some more sand fleas one one scoop and i got what i needed these are great baits right here whoops come here rods are back out set and ready the bummy stick is getting hammered. It's the only one with sand fleas, but I'm about to change them all to sand fleas here in a minute. Hey, that one is slack. Start cranking, I think we got a fish. Gotta have a fish on it. Is he on? All right, nice. I knew, <laughs> I was like, dang. That's a good one. That's a good one. That may be a red, actually. That may be a big red. All right. That is definitely what that is. Could be a big, per like a 10 pound permit, too. So we're gonna have to bring them over the sandbar and because of that, I'm probably gonna have to walk out and get them, but we'll see. Yeah. Really curious to see what we got here. It's getting pretty close. He's in this, uh, he's, he's real close. I don't see him yet. Oh, big red, big, nice red fish. Heck yeah. Look at him on top out there. Nice red. Heck yeah. Beautiful. Nice, come on dude, nice. Navarre Beach redfish right here, beautiful. That's how it works. All right, he is a little bit too big to keep, so we're gonna let him go. Let's kinda walk him down here and just ease him in the water and hold him by the tail until he's ready. And there we go, nice. We gotta get another bait out, man. That was a stud red. We just got a bite. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna catch this. I'm gonna get to catch a fish today. Watch this. Oh yeah. Oh, I got one now. Huh? We'll see. I couldn't go the whole video without catching a fish. <laughs> Might be a catfish though. <laughs> oh man, it's, it, it kind of feels a little bit like a catfish, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, 
He's moving in the waves, so we'll see. Nope, not a catfish, it's definitely a pump. Here we go. Nice one, nice one. I couldn't go the whole video without catching a fish. <laughs> so, nice pop. What a great day it's been out here. We're gonna take these pompano home right now and cook them up. What a morning of fishing that was. It's dinner time now. I'm gonna clean up this pompano and we're gonna cook him for dinner. And you know, I've been eating a lot of pompano lately just because uh, they've kind of been plentiful. And so for those of you that always ask, hey, I'm coming down in the fall, what kind of fish can I catch? Well, the beach is a great place to start. As you see, there are lots of fish coming down the beach. And guess what? There's lots of fish on the pier right now. It was so cool because, uh, you know, I haven't taken anyone like that fishing in a long time. And that's what I did for a living forever. And so that kind of brought me back to when I was a inshore fishing guide when I had to put people on fish for a living. So that was kind of a, a cool, satisfying feeling to get to put Mike on some good fish. Now I've done pompano a lot of different ways on this channel. What I want to do today, I don't know if you saw a few videos back when I went to Navarre and went to Where You At Seafood and he blackened this pompano for me and it was phenomenal. And I'm like, man, I want to try to blacken my own pompano. We're gonna take it off the skin, just like that right there. Make sure and cut the rib cage out. Boom, clean the other side and go cook it up. So you guys have to stay tuned for the grand finale of today's meal. The pompano is just a little teaser. We are gonna blacken it. And the reason why is because it was so good the other day when I went to Where You At Seafood Market and Grill. That's a restaurant in a bar. If you haven't seen that video, I will leave it in the description below for you to check out because if you are going or traveling to Navarre, Florida, this place is a hidden gem <laughs> that you need to check out. It's some of the best seafood that I've had in a very long time. One reason I've been beach fishing so much on my channel lately is because they have been catching an abnormal amount of permit down our beaches, which is odd because permit are usually a South Florida fish, but everybody's been catching them over the last couple of weeks. And so I, really, I was super excited when I hooked a couple of these fish today because I was thinking they were permit. Popping over fine, redfish is cool, but I wanted a permit. Let's go in for it. I wanna, I'm anxious to see my Bobbino versus the chef. Very fresh, very flavorful. I do like his better, but I mean, obviously he's a chef. I told you there was a star of the show tonight and it wasn't the Pompano, it's this right here. My wife, Melanie, made a fall pie it is a salted caramel apple pie. And I am super excited to try. I mean, look how good this looks. It looks absolutely amazing. Now, she did make a video of herself making this pie and it will be on her Instagram page and the recipe will be there as well. I'm gonna link her Instagram page in my description, but let's take a bite of this pie. It looks, I mean, that looks insane. That's like apple pie on steroids. <laughs> that is one of the most flavorful pies I have ever eaten. And I'm not just saying that because Melanie's holding the camera. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dead so serious. So what does it taste like? So you get the, immediately get the apple pie flavor 
but then the caramel hits you and you're like, whoa, it takes it to another level. And then you've got the crunch on top, which is amazing. The whipped cream, next level. This is one of the best things I have ever eaten, not gonna lie. If you enjoyed that video, go ahead and shoot me a big thumbs up. Everything I'm involved with linked in my description below. Right here along the Florida Gulf Coast, I am a licensed real estate agent. So if you have any needs to buy or sell, hit me up. I might be able to answer your question. Maybe I can help you out. Uh, if not, I can definitely point you in the right direction. Other than that, we'll catch you next time.